everyone hope you're doing well so today i want to do something i literally have 15 minutes left before i need to finish up with work today but i want to show up i want to create some art i have been doing some other work today working on the designs for my stamping sets designing the inserts etc so it's been a busy day and I am craving that drawing and painting time. So what I thought is that many of you are in a similar situation where you have full-time jobs and you want to spend some time being creative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my timer, 15 minutes, and let's see. So right here, I'm just going to pop it up so i can see it over there and i'm going to start with an illustration similar to what i've done last night and i really liked it i just wanted to create more kind of detail and then just will add a little bit of watercolor right at the end so let's start i'm going to start with a large floral shape and then just build a few things around it. I'm thinking about all the florals that are currently blooming, so things like peonies and loads of other wildflowers as well, buttercups, and taking inspiration from the leaves and the other bits and bobs. That's the zero 03. This is zero 05. Actually, it will do okay. So, Micron is a waterproof pan, so great for illustration. And I am just looking a little bit at the time because at the same time I want to relax into this and not be too pushed for time but I am aware that I'm only giving myself a certain period of time because it's live but the most important thing is that you showed up you spend even if it's a little bit of time you spend that time creating that's what matters I was thinking of doing a video where it's more like a vlog and we have a bit of a chat talking about triggers and things that might be a little bit toxic, how sort of I learned to stay away from being kind of triggered and how to control those triggers and how to make them less triggering <laughs> and I wonder if you'd find that quite interesting just because when life gets busy you can't let those triggers you know kind of control how you feel and so many of us experience it in different ways okay so let's see I'm not very good at talking at the same time as drawing, as you would have noticed in my earlier videos if you've been here with us for a little while. So now I'm going to layer a few at this layering detail. I think always makes botanical illustration so much more interesting. Okay, so we've got enough here. Now a little bit more of a balance with the berries on this side and I don't want that to be equal number four so I'll go for a number five in a minute just we'll add these berries in and perhaps one just here with the two of them so I'm looking at the timer, it's 10 minutes 23 and 
I need to be aware of the fact that I'll need to leave some time for these to dry and then we'll start kind of decorating. So here is something quite small, so I'm thinking maybe a leaf just popping out underneath. Also I'm going to pull a line through these leaves. Let me know what you feel about shorter videos like this or do you prefer longer videos or do you like a combination of both depending how your day is looking if it's a busy day you're somewhere i don't know on a subway and you have loads of time watching or you're at home and you want to open your sketchbook and start illustrating and dedicate a good bit of time to your art or do you like something nice and quick and um, then get on with your day and your other chores? I'd be curious to know. All right, so I think this is quite nice. I might just add another couple here. I try not to get too busy with these illustrations, but I have to say it's quite difficult. I do enjoy adding detail and once I start, I find it difficult to just stop. So it's something I need to be aware of. Okay, my time is saying 8 minutes 30 seconds. So I'm just going to add these tiny little fibers just at the end. of the berries. I get hung up on a design and I like to stretch it out and see how I can change the same design. Remember that pattern sketchbook that I have? Where I take the same pattern and I see how I can just change the shape slightly. So the same thing here. I started with these berries and then I'm just kind of taking them and changing up where they're just poking um, out underneath the flower and these are slightly more elongated like in the previous and also these flowers I am exaggerating the length of the petals here okay so that done we can now focus on the watercolor portion of this and let's see so I'm going to get some water I'm trying to do this all in real time and have minimal editing if possible not at all okay let's see so I'm going to go for something something light I want to say okay I'm gonna go for I think this is rhodonite pink and it's more of a muted type of pink, so not too bright. Let's see how I get on with this. I'm going to add this color. to the center. I'm trying to create these sort of blossoms, but at the same time I want to lift a little bit of this color from from the center here, like that. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of this darker color just at the edge of the petal going all the way around it like so that's a lovely gradient and then I think I'm also going to let the color get into the middle just beyond the illustrated line here okay what's the time five minutes and a half left and now for these, I am going to go actually for this beautiful red. No idea, I need to write down the names here, what these are exactly. So I'm going to, for this brush or for this detail, I need a smaller brush. And what I'm gonna do is just add this color 
into the tip of the petal and then pull it out. So let's do that. I'm going to try and lift some of this color for that lovely gradient, if at all possible. Some colors are quite vibrant and they can be staining, so be aware of that. Okay, and then we're going to add some water into the remaining two. And trying to blend it through. Okay, three minutes. Oh, that was lovely. <laughs> three minutes and what else? And 40 seconds we have got. So that's that. Okay, I've got the red here as well, which is going to be pressed for time but I'm going to give it a go and let's see I mean if you have limited time you might consider a less detailed drawing but I honestly think it's possible let's see if we can do it if I have to go above it a few minutes I'll do it of course it doesn't have to be that strict but it is what it is. Sometimes I can also leave things to finish later, which of course I won't do today, but you know, you have to do what you can do with the time that you have. Okay, I'm going to go into a lovely zesty green and that green is going to go here to hold these flowers. Still using my fine brush. And now I'm going to check the time, two minutes and 17 seconds. I'm going to go into some greens. I'll pick some zesty greens. I'm multitasking here, trying to check if the camera is still recording as well. Sometimes it just decides to switch off on you. And let's see, there's my lovely chartreuse here. One minute and 40 seconds. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. All right. Let's see, there's another green here. That's quite nice but all zesty. How about that? I think I'm also going to add some detail with marker. So technically it's going to go slightly above. Give me a second. I'm going to dry it all. Stop my, so 30 seconds I've got left. I'm going to dry this, come back and just do a little bit of mark making. Okay, so what I have here is I've got a Molotov Gift Green, Poison Green. And I'm just going to basically go around this black line and trace it like so. And then 
I will kind of connect these lines to the center of the flower. Okay, so my time is now up. So that was just adding a little bit of detail. If I had more time, I'd probably add a few more dots just because I used the same chartreuse across all of them. And that would just bring a bit of change. So let me just do that. So I have got here a ceramic light pastel and I'm just going to add this color on top of the chartreuse but just half of the leaf. I really like this color combo. Works quite well. Just in a few places. I don't want it to be like taking away from the illustration, but at the same time, it kind of is nice to break down the same color going through. looking at any other area I think I'll add it here like so there we go just over 15 minutes and I had a lot of fun creating this and drawing and I'm quite happy with it I mean, imagine that. It could have been just a plain white page in the sketchbook, but it is so much prettier. I hope you enjoyed this short little session with me. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments, subscribe if you haven't, like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.